Yakuza 0 is the reasonably priced game you should be playing. Uh, it's got everything. Crime drama, family drama, ridiculous drama, chicken drama, the 80s, over-the-top fighting, honor, respect, betrayal, ripped grown-up karate kids, and just straight-up nonsense. You're right, Kirio. Let's get to it. Before you play Yakuza 7, Like a Dragon, or any other new wave game that's triple the cost, here are five reasons you should play Yakuza 0. Upon first glance, the game itself seems bipolar. On the surface, it seems to change from one style to another without rhyme or reason. But then, after some meditation, it occurred to us. The game is not a neo-noir crime drama, but an old-school red-light district burlesque show. It builds tension the way that exotic dancers do. And when that tension gets too high, it needs to be released. That's where the comedian comes in. Or in this case, the chicken. <laughs> the laughter is the opening up of the pressure valve, unburdening us of the agitation the drama causes us. We get a little of this. <laughs> and then a little of that. And then some of this. And then some of that. <laughs> then this. <laughs> then that. True, sometimes the pendulum swings too far one way and has no choice but to go too far the other. But it's moments like this. That make moments like this extra special. Tension. Release. Tension. release. It's a work hard, play hard system which kind of mirrors Japanese culture. Yes, sometimes the shifts in tone remind us of scenes from the relatively unknown 1999 horror movie Christina's House. No. Did you have any reason not to like her? Hey, you want to light me and shut the fuck up? That's the fun. It makes us unsure of how to feel or what to make of Yakuza 0. Is it insanity? Is it a deathly serious family drama? Is it a karaoke game? A dance simulator? Is it a boring fishing game? A video game, like a person, doesn't have to be just one thing. There's no reason Kiryu can't be an honorable criminal and a professional slot car racer. We like the possibility that anyone can be anything, and that anything can be anything. That's freedom, baby. And that's Yakuza 0. Most of us have never experienced 1988's urban Japan, and never will. Like the way Vice City lets Gen Zers, Millennials, and older homebodies who rarely travel get a kind of 1980s Miami experience, Yakuza 0 gives us its version of the late 80s Japan experience. This game has got style. I mean, look at that hair. The open shirts and gold chains, the suits, the cars, the TVs, the pagers, the using of payphones, the music. smoking, and on top of that, indoor smoking, and lots of it, the nightclub scene and the arcades. The, okay, I don't know what that is, but the point is, it's fun to bring back the past and pretend it's the now. It's like living another life and puts us in touch and in time with an era we'd like to have known. And who doesn't want to live another life or two before we have to take the forever dirt nap? Fighting games have come a long way since 1984's Urban Champion. This one has got many different fighting styles you can choose from, depending on your personality and the enemy you're going up against. 
It's got button prompts that lead to devastating counters, an addictive but reasonable upgrade system, and new moves at every chapter so you can unleash your dragon in a variety of ways. This is no one-trick pony beat-em-up, as button mashing will send you straight to the morgue. You've got to stick and move, hit and not get hit, and pack plenty of snacks for your pause recovery breaks. When your heat meter is full, the specials are special, and the over-the-topness of them bends the rules of reality enough to make this a fun, surreal experience. And there's nothing more satisfying than bursting in on five Yakuza's in the men's room to give them the business. You've got to beat the living money out of people to get ahead in the game and buy all the skills and meals you need, and a lot of junk you don't. And luckily for you, 1988's Japan is like the state of Washington in that mutual combat is perfectly legal. So no coppers will arrest you for going fisticuffs in the streets. As a matter of fact, there doesn't seem to be law enforcement anywhere in this game. There's just this officer that wants to be your friend for some reason. Overall, the fighting isn't overdone in this game, although it is the cornerstone of its action. To decompress after a brawl, you have the bowling alleys and the poker tables waiting, and there's also ample opportunity to get to know your Japanese whiskey. For less important missions and side quests, the dialogue starts with one word or a grunt, and then the characters speak in a kind of Morse code, leaving you to read what they mean at the bottom of the screen. Uh. This is a kind of throwback to some old 16-bit games, like the dialogue in The Adventures of Batman and Robin on SNES. Then for the medium drama, they speak normally, where their lips move and they audibly say words to each other. But then, for some heavily dramatic moments, the whole dialogue storytelling style shifts entirely, and the characters seem to communicate to one another telepathically. It's the most mesmerizing thing. The characters are almost perfectly still, but somehow feel like they are in perpetual motion. You can hear them talk, loud and clear, but their lips don't move. Just look at this. Isn't this trippy? And then it goes back to regular back and forth dialogue. And then it goes back to Grunty Morse code. The strength of the dialogue in this game is that although it's in Japanese, visually, we understand what each character is communicating moment to moment. We also get who they are and their intentions thanks to some stellar voice acting. We love it, and you might too, as it shakes things up and strongly complements this story-heavy game. Right from the moment we press start, we step into a world governed by honor on the surface, and a thirsty lust for power and the threat of betrayal lurking under the surface at every turn. Your quest from a lowly foot soldier struggling to navigate the flashy superficiality of the Yakuza world as Honorable Kiryu, with his best bud Nishiku, is wild. On the streets, the man is a brawling superstar, but he then takes his licks from the elders as fighting back could be a death sentence. The quest you go on is quite vast and centers around a seemingly worthless piece of land, the Empty Lot, which holds the key to absolute power in the Dojima family. And it is surprising to see how much of their personal virtues men of discipline will sacrifice to have it all. And you, as a foot soldier, get sucked into that black hole of a war. From your debt-collecting disaster to being framed for murder, to your heartbreaking exile to the taking on of your lieutenant is so believable you'd follow this main character anywhere. And that's all just in the first chapter. And don't even get us started on that mysterious guy who invited Kiryu over for a shower and then took his clothes. 
Okay, so we got started on that. Couldn't help it as it was a super weird start to chapter two. There are rich backstories, intense, uncanny valley free cutscenes, three dimensional bad guys with ultra expressive faces, tension and stakes perpetually rising, and a conclusion we won't spoil, but is so satisfying and cathartic it makes the nonsensical parts of the game all worth it. Only the side mission characters in this game are pretty uncanny valley ish, but they never fail to bring the fun nonetheless, and this game is all all about fun. Yakuza 7 Like a Dragon just came out but is triple the price of Yakuza 0. And Yakuza 0 has 35 hours of story and well over 100 hours of entertainment, a steal by any means. And in 2020, ain't nobody got money to waste, except for maybe this guy. Huh? Uh oh, my pager is ringing. That means the video is over the 10 minute mark. Gotta call the boss. Arigato my friends. Have you played any of the Yakuza games? Are you looking forward to 7? Did we convince you that this game is worth your time? Any oddball games you recommend for us? Let us know in the comments down below. And like and subscribe for more from the gamer. Sayonara!